The stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it and this should be something special on the pitch. You're watching EA TV. Hello everyone, great to be with you. We're broadcasting today from just to the northwest of Palma from the Visit Mallorca Estadi. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And on the menu for you today, live action from La Liga EA Sports. It's Mallorca facing Real Madrid. Thanks Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. That's a good looking pass. Vinicius Jr. And on to Bellingham. Vinicius Jr. And did just enough defensively. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Carvajal starts with David Alaba as fullbacks. Luka Modric plays alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Modric, it might take a bit of teamwork. Vinicius Jr. And on to Bellingham. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Real Madrid can score goals from all conceivable angles. Just look at the record to back that up. Well, they've been devastated on the counter-attack. Their speed of passing and movement has caused opponents so many problems. Today will be another chance to show their qualities against a team who like to control possession. Pablo Mateo. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Chance to cross. Oh, great defending. Bellingham. And Bellingham. Speculative effort. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Gonzalez and Maffeo on the ball definitely look as though they want to make this move count Molanes and Maffeo on the ball opportunity to deliver the cross must be can they put it away well, nothing comes of it. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Valverde foiling his opponent completely. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Pablo Maffeo. Molanes. It's with Larin. Gonzalez. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Vinicius Jr. Valverde. And able to close down the shots. Perhaps an opportunity here for Real Madrid to take the lead. Corner. A 
And fired over by Kroos. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Valverde. Stopped a surefire goal. Good tackle. What can Real do from this position? He's got to score! And a goal! 1-0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced, and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So, underway again here. One nil to score. Jaume Costa. Darder. Really good build up, but no end product. Vinicius Jr. Vinicius. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Kyle Larin. Molanes. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Well, there we have it. The half-time whistle here in Mallorca. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Shielding the ball superbly. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. That was a delicious free kick from there, and really made the keeper think. Well, that's a great effort. So close to being a wonderful goal. Federico Valverde. Now with Bellingham. Look at Modric. Modric unable to hang on to the ball. Strong play here. That's a good pass. Oh, surely. And he's got a score to level us again.
Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Valverde Jude Bellingham into the advanced position Modric and the challenge crisp and clean free kick awarded then by the referee Jaume Costa and that's an important intervention oh that's a super piece of defending and he did well to cut it out Kyle Larin. Costa. Can they create something from here? Well, this could well, that lead to the goal that puts them ahead. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Corner kick played in. Goalkeeper's ball. It was always going to be that way. And Real couldn't hang on to the ball. Incisive pass. Can they forge ahead? Doing well to win it back. What can they do from here? In search of space. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Tony Kors. Passing like that, part of Luka Modric's game. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. So there we have it, 2-1. Samuel Costa. Dani Rodriguez. Costa. And the referee playing advantage. Getting forward. Costa, Rayo, and the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Well, can they open up the defence here? The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. And Bellingham, he has time to play it over. Big chance! Oh, a challenge that simply had to be won! Just ten minutes remaining here. 
Well, do they have it in them to level this? You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Substitution for Real Madrid. Long way out. Well, not quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. Jude Bellingham. It's with Vinicius Junior. Rodrigo. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, the fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. This could be the equaliser, but no! When your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. He's driven in the corner and knocked out of there. Vinicius pulls it back. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Mascarel. Perfect challenge. And here is Omar Mascarel. Rayo. Now Mascarel. Could pull one back here. A corner will ensue. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid. The fans are going to be happy with this. Well, as I keep saying, if you make forward runs and you look to pass the ball forward and have players who can dribble past defenders, you're always going to carry a threat. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Their forward play was scintillating.